Hey everyone, my name is Ru, and this is going to be number one of a brand new season for us. It's going to be PAC, PAC, Uber's division, and this is going to be a really, really fun one. If you've seen me at all, you'll know that Uber's is by a mile my worst format, but I'm a big fan of the team that I was kind of able to put together here, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to kind of play around with, so I'm just going to get right into it, and you'll we'll see. We will have to do non-land timer, the in-game timer, which is going to be unfortunate. It's, it will be a 20-minute timer, but we're going to have to just try to manage it as best we can, but here we will see the Giratina, Blaziken, Magirna, Zerkatry, what's that thing called? Um, Quagsire, and Scolipede. So right off the bat, right off the bat, no Blissey. Wow, no Blissey. Wow. My Gengar really could have come in on this one. And no Cryogonal. No Cryogonal and no Blissey really left the door wide open for my... Yeah, wow. Gengar could have put in massive dents into the team. Uh, no Confi is, is, is expected. Um, no Claydol is a little bit unexpected. No Mandibuzz. Oh, no Mandibuzz is wild. Actually, yeah, almost everything is on the ground except for the Giratina. So that's going to be kind of an interesting interaction there. But I think we can manage everything decently well. I honestly have no idea what I want to lead off with. Um, part of me says just lead off with this thing. I think it covers me in most scenarios. In particular, if we see a Scolipede lead, I mean, that would be, I think, worst case scenario, probably. Or, or at the very least, the, the scenario that I deal the least well against. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I really don't know what else he would want to lead off with. I think he could expect me to, to get a turn one Stone Edge. Um... But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, wow. Okay, that is a really aggressive lead. But I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna try to... Not... Not, uh... Predict at all here. And go into the Heatran. Heatran is here... Primarily for the Magirna, but also for the Blissey. But the Blissey is obviously not here. It does free up because I do... Because I really do need to have this thing switch into as many will-o'-wisps as possible so that's gonna be huge for me uh but i'd be surprised to not see okay we just see a dragon pulse that's totally fine that's totally fine um as far as what he would want to bring in probably a quagsire right but i think rocks here just makes as much sense as anything else And then, and then once the Quagsire comes in, I mean, it probably just lets me, hmm, goes for a sub, okay. Goes for a sub, that's actually kind of problematic. That's actually mildly problematic. I actually really want to get an Icicle Spear off, but I don't think that's pretty, that's really viable. Uh, I don't think Magma Storm will break. But I think I have to at least check, right? Giratina Origin. Yeah, Magma Storm comes nowhere near breaking. I have to figure out what to do here. I mean, the fact that he didn't go for Willow right away makes me think that I can do this and kind of play off of this a little bit. I can get a dual wing beat off. A uh, dual wing beat actually won't break, but it'll put me in a better position. Oh, thunder. That's that's close to worst case scenario, actually. Uh, this thing is probably... Hex. Sub Dragon Pulse. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad, actually. Oh, I get Dragon Ball, so not Hex, which I guess is better than it being Hex, but it's not great. But I think as long as I break this sub, I think I'm okay. Um, because if nothing else, it'll kind of allow my Kyurem to come in. Uh, it'll allow Kyurem to come in. Oh, Kyurem doesn't guaranteed, uh, outspeed here. Which is also problematic. Uh, could I bring in Heatran? Not Heatran. Groudon. 
That's not doing enough damage either. Oh, I think I just have to take a Dragon Pulse here, right? Oh, I think I just have to take a Dragon Pulse here. This is not good. Don't get me wrong. This is not good at all. But I think it's going to be kind of my best answer here. You could Thunder Wave me, right? I could try to get some Dragon Dances up. I don't know. This is this is not good. This is very this is the most unexpected Giratina set that I This just stops all of my potential setup, all of all of really most of what I want to do here. However, it is interesting to note that if this Giratina goes down, then Groudon has nothing that's immune to it. Barring, you know, air balloons and stuff, but uh that puts me in a really interesting position. Does withdraw. Do we see Magirna? Yeah, we do see a Magirna. Now, this is kind of an, an interaction that I expected. Because once I have a Dragon Dance up... Once I have a Dragon Dance up... Um... Fusion Bolt should be a 2 KO. And I should be able to take... I should be able to take a hit from this thing. And I guess we'll see... If this thing is, like, super physically defensive, then, yeah, this thing is probably specially defensive. We will see Draining Kiss, but I am Roselli Berry, and it does look like, um, I can make it out of this interaction. I'm, I'm pretty specially bulky, and I have a, Ros a Roselli Berry, so this is kind of, kind of the interaction that I expected. I honestly expected, um, this thing to, to kind of be, um, to be Floor Cannon, and if it is Floor Cannon, then I can kind of take advantage of that. But he's put me in a really... He's put me in a, in a position that I really wanted to be in from the beginning, right? But because I took advantage with that Dragon Dance, uh, that card doesn't matter, but because I took advantage with that Dragon Dance, this puts me in a really interesting position. Um, if the if the Blaziken comes in, that's obviously kind of the most awkward position to be in because the Blaziken would mean that I, that I have to wonder whether or not he's going to go for the Protect here, whether I Dragon Dance along with the Protect, or... Or, um... Or if he doesn't have Protect, and I can just... or he, Because I was also thinking about it. Um, there was a chance that the Blaziken could be banded and not have Protect at all. But it's kind of tough because I do have a lot of immunities on my team. Uh, I, I do have a Gengar immunity. Um, and and I have um, the Heat Train immunity to, to whatever kind of plays he would, he would want to make. I think he's kind of deciding what can kind of come in best. But honestly, Kiram is in a position to do a lot of what it needs to do. This one's going to be really tough. Blaziken. Um, I should KO after... Fusion Bolt should be a KO after... Rocks. It does go for the Protect. Yeah, that's worst case scenario. But... But I think this is, this is fine because this... I still definitely need this thing for the Giratina. That's 100%, right? That's 100-100%. But the bigger point here... Also, the fact that the Giratina switched out means that it's probably not max speed. And if it if it's not max speed, then I deal with it fine with um with with Kiram. So that's another very interesting thing to, to keep in mind. But yeah, this is just the best play av available to me. Uh, this thing is Life Orb, which I honestly didn't quite expect. I thought it might not be. But it is, in fact, Life Orb, which is very interesting. It's very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to click Knock Off only because I mildly expect the Quagsire to want to come in. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think Knock Off is, is an okay play here. I don't expect this thing to want to stay in here. Um, and if the Quagsire comes in... If the Quagsire comes in... I mean, I'll go into Groudon at that point, right? Yeah, so we do get to see... We do get to kind of tell something about this Quagsire, right? This thing is just... Uh, let's see. Is this thing max defense? Knockoff did about 16%. I think that is max defense. And if it is, then I don't mind at all going right into... This thing and going for a Precipice Blades. Honestly, it might be better to go for an Iron Head, expecting the Giratina to want to come in. Um, that could be the better play here. 
But yeah, it goes for the Toxic. I mean, I didn't really expect uh, a whole ton to be able to, to kind of touch the crowd on. I honestly really want to go for, for an Iron Head. I honestly really want to go for an Iron Head. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I should really want to click Precipice Blades. I could pull a double back into Kiram. I could pull a double back into Kiram. Expecting the Giratina? I think I have to. Well, no, I, I, I don't have to. I think, honestly, both, both plays are really, really valid here. But... Um, I'm not really expecting a Scald here. I'm, I'm not really expecting this thing to want to stay in and just, and just kind of attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm fully expecting probably Giratina. Yeah, I think that's Giratina, right? Yeah, and now I for sure, for sure just click, um, just click Icicle Spear every time. Even if the, e even if the, um, even if the Blaziken wants to come in directly, I mean, that, that's, that's kind of a nutty play, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got that play correctly. I... I kind I definitely expected him to expect me to think that um I I, I I definitely expected him to think that I would Wow Getting two hits is rough dude But we should take this fine I, I think this is reasonably bulky and we are a very, a very bulky here in black But wow that is really bad Just getting two hits on that is really bad I think I can fusion bolt safely just so I don't miss right I'm I, I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna check on that even though I know time is going to be a huge kind of factor here. But missing an Icicle Spear would be really bad here. Um, yeah, it looks like Fusion Bolt should do minimum 13. Um, but that's just assuming max HP. If this thing is max HP, max defense, and obviously that's a lot worse for me. But, but again, it'd be worse if I just miss an Icicle Spear. Um, getting three hits on an Icicle Spear would have been ideal there. But, you know, I guess that's kind of just how it goes, right? And honestly, I probably should have Dragon Dance anyway. I, I really expected him to, to want to click Thunder Wave there, but... The fact that he didn't kind of surprised me a little bit. It goes into this thing. Which mildly surprises me. I mean, I could just do this, right? Now that there's no Giratina, yeah. Yeah, now that there's no Giratina to really stop me, I can just... Fire off the Precipice Blades and just kind of go for it here. I don't even have to rely on... I don't even have to rely on... Um... Sig Sigilift to set up a gravity anymore. Nothing here really wants to take a Precipice Blades. Obviously, the Quagsire can take two and, and wear me down um, with the poison here. But at this point, it's not my biggest concern. It's not my biggest concern by a mile. And if this thing stays in, actually, I might out. No, because 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 that is, is is it has a speed boost. I, I am scarfed, but with this thing having a speed boost, I don't think that's ever really a possibility. But again, I really should just claim a KO on anything that's not Quagsire, right? And that's kind of where I need to be right now. Uh, goes for a Mega Horn, which is fine. I, also, I obviously have to hit the Precipice Blades, but he just hit a Mega Horn. So I'd really like to hit the Precipice Blades. We do land the Precipice Blades, and Skullipede is a huge, huge issue out of the way. Um, what would come in next? Probably... Honestly, maybe Blaziken. Maybe Blaziken comes in next. Maybe Blaziken comes... Well, Blaziken's really tough still because of the... Because of the uh, um, Azumarill goes into the Blaziken, yeah. But I don't think this Blaziken can really do anything but click Knock Off. But even then, I you, you would imagine he would do it on this thing too. Uh, but this thing is really here just to kind of take this thing on. One thing that I would like to check up on is just how fast Quagsire should be. Yeah, I think I can pretty freely Belly Drum now, right? It depends. Does, does plus six take out a Zerkatry? Actually, no, because Knock Off... Um, uh, I think I'll pull a double regardless, right? This thing could be water absorber for all I know, but this is probably not the case. Uh, I think I can do this, right? Yeah, I think I can do this. Zerkatry. 
Uh, and against... Wow. That's very unexpected. But, uh, I think it's, I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. This is definitely in, in Aqua Jet range, which is important to know as well. Uh, is there any reason to keep this thing? I mean, it, it does help a lot against the Quagsire, I suppose. Actually, no, it doesn't. Does it? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I think I just give this up. Right, what's left on that team? Uh, Zerkatry, yeah, yeah, th yeah, this is just, if anything, this is kind of Zerkatry fodder. <laughs> and I really don't want to be in that position, but if anything, Azumarill should be able to come in, come back in, and click Aqua Jet. Blaziken. Just a regular banded Blaziken. Should get taken out by an Aqua Jet from this range. And that's really where I want to be. That's really where I want to be. Unfortunately, I really don't think it's worth going for an Aqua Jet here. Um, just because of... Or, sorry, for a Belly Drum here. Just because of... Oh, is the Quagsire coming in? If the Quagsire comes in, then I'm Belly Drumming. For sure, for sure. Well, no, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Is this thing Water Absorb? No, it's not Water Absorb. Okay. It's definitely unaware. Yeah, that's what I would have expected. That's what I would have expected. Um, but now... Now what do I do? Oh, this is getting rough. This is getting rough. Um... I still think I can win with this thing, especially if it's a, if it's a Scarf Zerkatry, right? If it's a Scarf Circuitry, then yeah, it's obviously problematic. I think I can go into this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this makes a ton of sense to me because um, this thing is this thing is only really going to be useful to me against um, against this Quagsire matchup. And 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 in, in, in the other match matchups, uh, it's really not the most useful. Although that is going to yeah, that's that's as bad as it gets. However, however. This thing comes back in and claims a KO. Maybe not. Oh, this is actually potentially kind of bad. Actually, no, no. Because if this thing goes down... If this thing goes down... Then the next time the Blaziken comes in, I click Belly Drum and I win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing should go down. Uh, yeah, even if it doesn't, it's fine. It's totally, totally fine. I can go back into... Oh, we, we take it on 1 HP, but we get... To, yeah, so now... Well, no, because now, um... Now the... Now the Azumarill is going to... Or, no, that now this thing is going to want to recover in the face of Azumarill. So I have to threaten it. Which invites in the Zerkatry. Which is bad. Um... Yeah, I guess I click Roost here, right? And then I click Dragon Dance? Yeah. I think that's how I have to do this. Goes for an Earthquake. We should take this okay. Yeah, we should take two. And now we Dragon Dance. Potentially clicks Recover. I have to Dragon Dance twice, though. But I think this is okay. He's not clicking Recover, which is interesting to me. But, uh, yeah, goes for a Toxic. That's fine. However, I do think I have to... I do think I have to... Uh... No, I can't. I have to click Icicle Spear. And... The Zerkatry could actually still win this for him if it's a Scarf Zerkatry. If it's a Scarf Zerkatry, it could still just win it for him. Maybe not, though. Actually, if he goes into Blaziken now... Yeah, he goes into Blaziken now. He goes into Blaziken now, so I for sure just let this thing go down. 
Alright, for sure, let this thing go down. Go into his Umeral. Oh, he just lets me KO this thing. He just lets me KO this thing. That's, uh, interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. I thought he would want to click Protect that turn. Maybe he went for Thunder Punch. I, I lose now. I try to play this end game as carefully as possible, but yeah, if it's a Scarf Zerkatry... Well, okay, if I take one hit from a Zerkatry, right? If I take one hit from a Zerkatry... I don't take a I don't take a timid Thunderbolt. A, a modest special attack Thunderbolt. Or sorry, a max special attack Thunderbolt. But if I take a hit, then I belly drum and I win. But I don't think I take a hit. There's the Thunderbolt. We don't take a hit. And that's week one. Wow, that's that was a crit. I don't think it mattered. I don't think it mattered. That was rough, yeah. How should I play that? Okay, so I'm trying to think. Once the... Once the Blaziken was in, I, I had to have gone out into his Umeral, but he clearly clicked Thunder Punch on that turn, right? He clearly clicked Thunder Punch. And I guess I should just see if I take two, two Life Orb Thunder Punches. I probably don't. I probably don't, to be completely honest. Yeah, so I was at 201 HP when I would have switched in. So, theoretically, it was a 60% chance for two Thunder Punches to KO even after Leftover Recovery. So, it would have been, it, it would have come down to a roll, but realistically, the way that it would have played out is, I go into a Zoomer on the Thunder Punch, I take a Thunder Punch, I click Belly Drum on the next turn, I hopefully take one more Thunder Punch, and if I do, then Aqua Jet twice and I win the game. If I don't, then I just lose the game straight out. So, yeah, there was a lot going into those final few turns. I definitely could have played it better, I think... I think there were a ton of things that I could have played better, but that end game was exactly the type of thing that I was trying to avoid. So, honestly, I was trying to play around too many things, I think, and it really kind of ended up hurting me. I wish I had played things a little bit differently, but this end game was exactly why I had to play as carefully as I did, right? Because I was trying to take steps to avoid this from happening. But either way, the team really came together in a way that I really liked. I do like the team a lot, and I think this team has a ton of potential. And it just comes down to playing my endgames better, I suppose, and kind of thinking through how I want to make these endgames happen. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the PAC Ubers division and a ton more stuff to come in the future and in the BDSP era. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm once again, out.